So Peter and I are halfway through the three month tour with Vogue. Now today is gonna be a little bit different of an episode as I want to share some things that I am super passionate about. Now August is my birthday month, which means that I get birthday freebies all month long. that this year was a big birthday for me. This year, I got well over $300 in free food, which is awesome because I love food. <laughs> I actually organize my emails uh, so that way I can see which deals are ending the soonest to then the latest, so that way I don't miss anything. And because this year we were traveling to four states during my birthday month, I actually signed up for other deals that Colorado did not have, but like that were in Oklahoma and then Texas, and then I just planned our route accordingly. Yeah, did I mention that I love food? <laughs> and I am extremely thrifty, so free food is even better. I get free coffees, meals, desserts, buy one get in one deals, snacks, and more. Peter thinks my obsession with these birthday freebies is a little crazy, but hey, he gets to enjoy the meals with me. <laughs> All I had to do was ask to be on these companies' email lists, and then in return, birthday freebies. I am so thankful to these companies who help a girl out in celebrating her birthday. But after I eat this free food, I get hungry in a couple hours. And after I drink the coffee, you know, I want more the next day. But there is one free gift that is better than all of these birthday deals I already mentioned, combined times 1,000. You might say, Lisa, better than a free hibachi meal? Yes, much better than that. And you might say, okay, well, Lisa, who do I have to ask to get this deal? Annie Ann's, IHOP, Chick-fil-A, nope, the creator of the universe. You see, God loves you and he created you and made you with a specific purpose. But there's a problem. And you might ask, okay, so what's, what's the problem? Well, you see, God's word the Bible, which has been proven historically accurate over and over. And if you want a really awesome video about that, I would say go check out the Vogue app and watch the Is Jesus Real series. The Bible tells us that all have sinned and that is like breaking God's law. And the penalty for breaking God's law is eternal separation from God. And you might say, well, you know, I'm a pretty good person and I think all the good things I have done have outweighed the bad. Well, that's not the standard. James 2.10 tells us that if you keep the entire law, but you stumble in just one point, then you are guilty of all. One point. So, i.e., it telling a little white lie or disrespecting your parents or, you know, thinking a lustful thought about someone sleeping with your significant other before marriage, even if you're planning on getting married. I didn't make the laws, God did. And it's actually for our good. And by now you might be like completely confused. You're like, okay, so you're telling me God loves me, but like there's this impossible standard. Like, guess what, Lisa, no one is perfect. And that's exactly right. We cannot be perfect, but there's a solution because God knew that none of us could be perfect. And so he sent the perfect solution. He sent his son, Jesus. And the name of Jesus is powerful. If you are in a dark situation, just call on the name of Jesus because Jesus is the light of the world. And he came to this earth fully God and fully man. 
I know that sounds like some like weird mythical creature, but this is not fiction. But don't take my word for it. I challenge you to look at historical documents, to read the Bible, and with a critical mind, ask God, are you real? And God, if you are real, reveal yourself to me. So Jesus came to earth, fully God, fully man, and he lived a perfect life, one that we simply cannot live. And Jesus spoke many amazing things while he was here on earth. He didn't just speak, but his actions were also there. He cared for the poor. He healed many, and he fulfilled over 200 prophecies that had been foretold about him coming hundreds and thousands of years before he ever appeared on earth. And remember that I said the penalty for sin is death? Well, Jesus, who lived a perfect life, who had never sinned, took our sin upon himself and died on the cross. He took my punishment. He took your punishment. And he died in a horrible way on the cross. Jesus loves you. And he cares for you so much. Like, I'm not doing it justice how much he cares for you because I can't. But he cares about you more than you know. And I want to share something really neat with you. So one of the prophecies that was fulfilled is found in Isaiah 53, 5. It was written 700 years before Jesus came to earth. And it says, he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. But it doesn't end there. Three days later, Jesus rose to life. Yes, he came back from the dead, proving that he had victory over death. Can I get an amen? Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah, hallelujah. So is that it? Is that like all you have to do? Just like know that, that happened? No, you have to make a decision. You have to choose to ask God for forgiveness for the sin that you've committed against God and say, God, I see that you provided Jesus as a way for me and I am so thankful. And God, I choose to lay my life down and follow you. And that's tough because sometimes we like to do things our own way, right? And so you are submitting yourself to God. Romans. 10 actually tells us if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You might say, okay, Lisa, I want this free gift, but how? I'm actually going to leave a couple of links um, in the description that kind of walk you through just how to become a Christian. And maybe though you're thinking, well, I'm not really sure if I, I want to. I, I, I don't really know about this whole God thing. Remember I said you had a purpose? Find your purpose in Jesus. Like, oh my goodness. Like, obviously, like, I'm excited about this, right? And so I want to share with you. I love sharing free birthday freebies. And I just want to share this free gift of salvation. And you might think, well, I don't really want to be saved from anything. I'm happy doing the life the way that I am. I want you to get quiet before God. Turn off all electronics for like five minutes and just ask God, God, are you real? Please reveal yourself to me. Show me what you want to do with my life. Because I tell you what, life with God is such an adventure. And maybe you're like, you know, I, I am a Christian and I do believe Jesus then this is gonna be hard to say is your life a good review of what life is like with Jesus when people are looking to you do they want to know more and if the answer is like well not this point because there's this happening in my life and that and this like ask God for help I mean that's all I can say ask God for help and 
say, God, I want you and I want you to be Lord of my life and I'm not sure how in this situation and ask God for wisdom. And he will give it to you because he is a good, loving God. He loves you so much. I, I want to get that point across, but yeah, there is sin in our way sometimes. And when you are following Jesus, it's like, okay, so we follow Jesus. Is everything easy then? Absolutely perfect and you're going to be perfect. No, that's still impossible. And we still, I still constantly have to go to God and ask for forgiveness when I'm thinking thoughts towards someone that isn't nice or when I get upset with my husband for just because I am impatient, hungry, whatever, and I am nasty towards him. Like, I have to constantly ask Peter for forgiveness for that and God for forgiveness for that. And so life doesn't mean you're gonna, it's gonna be absolutely perfect once you know him, but it is an adventure to be on. And you become like those you hang around. And so get in the Bible and hang around Jesus. And then the more that he is in you, like read the words of Jesus. Don't always look at like what others are doing and measure yourself by that. That is not a good standard. Again, this is the standard, right? So get in the word. And one way that you can grow in your faith is through the Vogue app. Uh, this is the whole reason that Peter and I are driving a 1972 van around the country is to promote the Vogue app. And there's some really awesome videos that can help you grow, own, and also share your faith. And guess what? The app is absolutely free. <laughs> Yay, free. And if you wanna tell your friends about free awesome things, share this video with them. Free birthday freebies, free app, and free gift of salvation. And if you are new here, we are so happy to have you here on this channel. Uh, you can go ahead and check out some of our other traveling episodes and different things that we've got to do while we are on this tour. And make sure to subscribe, which is also free and we'll see you in the next adventure. See ya.